prominent physician who dedicated his life to fighting cancer once confessed. The vast majority of his patients had no idea that a destructive mechanism had already been set in motion in their bodies. They were laughing, planning vacations, eating their favorite foods, until they were faced with a diagnosis that made time stop. Illness doesn't always come with pain. The most insidious thing about it is its stealth. It does not shout, does not warn, but whispers, hides behind the usual fatigue, behind trifling ailments that we do not pay attention to. This is what Otto Warburg was talking about, a man who turned the understanding of the nature of disease upside down. His discoveries shocked the scientific community. He proved that disease does not originate from the outside, but from within. Not viruses and not old age, but oxygen starvation of cells becomes the beginning of their destruction. We breathe, but the cells suffocate. We eat, but the cells suffocate. We eat, but they starve. We live, and they die. Warburg devoted his life to discovering the cause of this silent collapse, and this led him to his greatest discovery in the field of cellular respiration, for which he received the Nobel Prize. But the most important thing was not the discovery itself, but the conclusion that followed from it. As long as cells get oxygen, there can be no disease. Cells deprived of oxygen begin to consume sugar and process it anaerobically. This is how cancer is born. This process seems harmless. It doesn't cause pain, but it has an explosive mechanism. Warburg once said, as long as cells breathe, man lives. His words were considered impertinent at the time. Today they sound like prophecy. He wasn't fighting medicine, he was fighting our indifference to ourselves. Warburg was not talking about miracles, but about simple actions, that about simple actions that anyone can do to restore life to the body. He formulated eight principles that sound not like prohibitions, but like an invitation. Start respecting your body. First step. The morning begins not with coffee, but with water. Most people wake up with an empty stomach and immediately load their bodies with caffeine. Warburg warned, it's like waking up an engine without oil. He recommended starting the day with a glass of warm water, preferably with lemon. It's not just a healthy habit, it's a restart of all internal systems. The blood becomes lighter, the organs awaken, and the cells get oxygen. Example, a 67-year-old woman giving up coffee and starting the morning with water with lemon. After a couple of weeks she felt the swelling go away, lightness appears. The feeling of fog in the head disappears. The feeling of fog in the head disappears. Water is life, and to start the day with it is to remind your body that you are on its side. Step 2. Vegetable salad is not a side dish, but a salvation. Greens, raw vegetables, lemon juice, and virgin oil. It sounds simple, but it's a real shield. It is the alkaline minerals in plant foods that create an environment where cells breathe freely. Where there's alkaline, there's no inflammation. Where there's greens, there's health. Calcium and magnesium deficiencies set off a cascade of changes. Joint pain, lethargy, premature aging. But all of this can be stopped. By starting the day, not with a sandwich, but with a salad full of life. Step 3. Eat to live, not to slow down. Many people don't notice how they're destroying their bodies in between. Eating a candy bar, cookie or bun. Warburg suggested a different path. Snacks that nourish rather than steal energy. Almond, seaweed, spirulina. If not just healthy, it's a cure for everyday life. A woman who replaced sweets with a handful of nuts and water with lemon forgot about chronic fatigue in a month. Her skin felt fresher, her eyes clearer. This isn't magic. It's a return to the source. Step 4. Movement is like breathing for the body. A body deprived of movement begins to rot from the inside out, Warburg said. Even a short walk activates blood circulation and helps flush excess acids out of the body. A man who started walking 15 minutes a day noted after a couple weeks how his joint pain disappeared and his sleep became deeper. Movement doesn't have to be heroic. It should be the body's gratitude for life. Step 5. Learn to breathe again. Deep breathing is not a trend. 
its salvation. Warburg emphasized, without a full breath, cells die in silence. A simple rule, a day at least five, ten minutes of deep breathing of fresh air, can work wonders. A man from St. Petersburg who started such practice on the balcony noticed how his headaches went away and his blood pressure normalized. Conscious breathing fills the body with energy and returns clarity to the mind. It is not labor. It is the art of living deeply. Step 6. Meat should be an ally, not an enemy. Fried, smoked fatty, all this is not food but a burden. Warburg was not against meat. He was in favor of moderation, lean, boiled, steamed, in reasonable quantities. It was the kind of meat that sustained, not destroyed, a woman. By adding one vegetarian day a week and changing the way she cooked her meat, got rid of her pain and lowered her cholesterol. It's not about prohibitions. It's about mindfulness, about food as an act of care, not violence. Step 7. Avoid the hidden enemy, starch. White potatoes in large quantities increase inflammation. Warburg advised replacing it with vegetables that have no hidden sugar. Asparagus, zucchini, Brussels sprouts. Bell peppers, zucchini, Brussels sprouts. One man, after eliminating potatoes and starting to steam vegetables, noticed how the heaviness disappeared and energy appeared. These foods are not just healthy. They work as internal body cleaners. Step 8. An alkaline environment is the foundation of life. All of Warburg's habits boil down to one thing. To create an environment in the body where oxygen circulates freely and cells live, not die. It's not about diets. It's not about sacrifice. It's about loving yourself, loving your body, loving life. He didn't offer a miracle. He gave us a compass. A glass of water, herbs, nuts, movement, breathing, clean food. Simple things that with regularity become the foundation of a new life. Warburg proved, health is not an accident or an inheritance. It is a choice we make. Every day, every bay, every morning, every breath of water or air is an investment. And the only question is, where do you want to invest? In illness or in life, write down where you're going to start. What habit has resonated with you the most? Share in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the Great Squotes channel. We talk about the most important things there, about how not to lose yourself in a world where everything is a distraction. See you soon, and be well, real, consciously, every day.